What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about jailbreak tweaks in iOS 11. Now I do apologize about my voice. I've been sick the past couple of days, so just bear with me as we go through this. So as you guys know, when Apple releases a new major iOS version, they bring on these quote unquote new features. Now these new features are actually features that jailbreak users probably have been using on the previous iOS version. Now granted, not every single feature in the new iOS has been something that's been on a jailbroken device before, but there are definitely some jailbreak tweak-esque features that we always see on these major releases. Now, I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. I think it's actually a really good thing because the jailbreak tweaks that are popular, that's what people want. We're basically beta testers for the entire world. And even though Apple tries to stop us from jailbreaking our device because it's less secure, they do know how to look at a good idea and take it and run with it. Now it's not like Apple only takes from jailbreak developers. This is a two way street. So you'll see jailbreak developers and a whole lot of users asking for features in iOS 11 to be implemented and brought to a previous iOS like iOS 10. You can see this on Reddit where somebody's asking if someone will make the iOS 11 music player for the lock screen and make that a tweak for iOS 10. Same thing for right here. iOS 11 has this new shame banner for apps that are using your location in the background. And guess what? People want that on iOS 10 as well. Now people aren't only asking to mimic features in iOS 11, but they're actually already customizing them as you can see in this short video right here. A lot of people aren't happy with the design of the new control center, so this basically gives you complete control of what that control center would look like and how everything would be arranged. But now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 11 and let's see exactly what features we think were pulled from jailbreak tweaks. So first and foremost, Eclipse. Eclipse was the first tweak to bring a unified dark mode to iOS. And really here you can see if you guys haven't seen this, there's actually a smart invert that does just that. Now it's not exactly what you would want a dark mode to be, but it is definitely on its way to providing a dark mode for iOS 11. So if we just type in smart invert here, right here, and we scroll all the way down here to the bottom, you can see that I have it uh, set up for smart invert. So if I just triple click this, is smart invert so you can see that it's just a really nice dark theme that is going through ios wide on your device so this actually works a lot of different places you can see here on the home screen that it doesn't necessarily make everything look terrible like it does on ios 10 and if we go into something like messages here you can see what that looks like and to actually get your messages to look like this you'd actually have to download a tweak called messages customizer which allows you to change the color of basically all of the iMessage bubbles, text bubbles, the background, your keyboard, all that good stuff. But nevertheless, Eclipse was the first one to bring dark mode to iOS, and now here we have an implementation of that in iOS 11. Next is a tweak called hide icon labels. So you can see right here that all of the icons down here in the dock do not have icon labels. Now. You can't unfortunately do that for all the uh, applications here in the springboard or on the springboard, but you will see that we don't have any type of application labels down here in the dock. Now there's several tweaks that actually do this, hide icon labels, spring to mize, uh, I think hide me X, Harbor, just a ton of different tweaks that actually will do this. So it's not something new for jailbreakers. Next is multi icon mover. This is something that has been around on a jailbroken device for a long time and something that we have been asking for in iOS for a long time. And they finally brought it to iOS. It's a little bit different. It's actually not implemented as well as multi icon mover. In my opinion, I think it's a little bit clunky just because you have to use two fingers basically, because what you would have to do in order to do this, is get into wiggle mode. So you just hold your finger over this. And then with multi icon mover, you can just tap on these just like that. And it would put a little check box or check mark on each application. And then you can move them to a specific page. Now with the iOS 11 implementation, you actually have to grab an icon, move it just a little bit to make that X go away. And then you can tap on uh, applications here. Like I was saying, it doesn't work as well as with multi icon mover. 
but you can see how that works right there and then we can swipe away to another page and you can see how all of these are moving and if we want to drop them all right here then we can just like that definitely clunky definitely still buggy now this again is just the beta so maybe it'll make it a little bit easier uh, for these applications maybe it only works for stock applications right now but still it's better than nothing next we'll take a look at the control center so if you haven't seen the ios 11 control center yet it definitely looks a whole lot different and you can see that right here now what they allow you to do is actually customize your control center and add toggles to your control center which is really nice it's nice to have those toggles there and it's nice to be able to access features that you would want to use on a daily basis and you want to have quick access to again this is something we've had in a jailbroken device for a long time tweaks like cc toggles polis i think cc customizer was one that allowed you to add toggles there's just a ton of uh, control center tweaks that were available that allowed you to do this very same thing now if i go ahead and open up uh, something like tweetbot here and then i send myself a text message then i should be able to pull that down don't ask me why my name is sarah in my phone <laughs> but you can see that we actually get a dark keyboard here and this is not something that we would get in ios 10. so in order to get a black keyboard there were quite a few tweaks that you could do this with uh, one of them was called blord which would basically give you a universal black keyboard everywhere so this is really similar to that and then i show you here this is on ios 10. sent myself another message here so if i go ahead and pull that down you can see that we have the white keyboard rather than the black one so let's jump into the next tweak which is actually something that i'm really happy was implemented onto ios 11 and that is the screen recorder so this is actually an option that you can add into your control center which you can see right here this is a screen recorder and this is something that ryan petrus developed a long time ago in a tweak called display recorder so it's really simple to use you can literally just add this to your control center tap this button and then you can see that it's recording your screen right there and you can do whatever you want to and it's going to save that directly to your photo so if we scroll back up here we tap on this you'll get a little notification saying screen recording uh, video saved to your photo so definitely a really cool implementation i'm glad they added that for sure now another one here in the control center is the ability to turn on low power mode right from the control center which is pretty nice so you can see we toggle that on we have the yellow battery and now our device is in uh, low power mode again this is something we've had on jailbreak for a long time and it's called cc low power so we actually had the toggle inside of the control center allowing you to toggle that on and off so this is actually something we've been looking for since low power mode was a thing so i'm glad they finally got that in there as well now something else that's changed is the wi-fi logo so you can see right here that now we have uh, the bars signal uh, rather than those dots those dots were absolutely hideous they took up a ton of space in the status bar and i was actually really stoked to see that they took they got rid of that in ios 11. again a tweak called bars would have given this uh, in our previous ios versions as well another feature we have here in ios 11 is a keyboard feature so let's go ahead and pop that open you can see right here if we hold down we can actually switch the keyboard to be used with one hand which of course will make typing with one hand a whole lot easier now there was a tweak called one-handed that's pretty similar to this except it adds a couple of buttons in the extra space that's created over here now it, obviously it's not exactly the same but still it's a nice feature to have especially when you're driving i'm kidding don't text and drive that's not good don't do that another nice addition to ios 11 is the ability to see gifs or gifs in your photos and they actually play so if you're used to seeing these in ios 10 it used to be just a still frame or we can actually see what the gif looks like with a preview of it right there in the photos app this wouldn't be a new feature for jailbreakers because we had a tweet called gif viewer that allowed you to do just this now you can also natively scan qr codes now just with the camera so once you open up your camera you can actually scan a qr code with this i actually don't have anything with a qr code on it but trust me it works if you want to look it up you can but there was also a jailbreak tweak called native qr which added this feature to the camera long before apple did 
Something else that is a huge welcome change to iOS 11 is the less obtrusive volume HUD when you're watching videos. So here's actually a video of a horse named Horsey Miss McHorseface, which pulls away for the first Australian win. Man, I can't even read. All right, so you can see right here, let's go ahead and make this full screen. And then if we start to play this, we're gonna go ahead and turn that down. And you can see there's actually a volume HUD in the top right hand corner right there, which is just amazing that it's not taking up, you know, three fourths of the video right here with that volume HUD. So really nice that that was implemented. Now there were tweaks like Sonus, Status HUD, Status HUD 2, YouTube volume, just a ton of different tweaks that actually implemented a small sleek volume HUD uh, because that original iOS 10 through like iOS 7, I think, uh, had that annoying volume HUD that just basically covered up the entire screen. Now there's actually quite a few tweaks on the iPad as well. I'm just gonna go over a couple of them uh, for this video. One of those would be this dock right here. Now there was a couple of docks that did something similar. Uh, one of them was called round dock, which actually just kind of rounded off the corners up here in the top corner. It didn't actually make this entire thing uh, float. So one of the tweaks that actually did something like this was a tweak called floater. So it would basically give you the illusion that your dock was floating, just like this. Now it also did the same thing for your control center and your notification center, which obviously you don't get that uh, in iOS 11, but at least we do have a cool looking dock here. Now there's also a anemone theme, I believe, that's called Awesome Dock that allows you to do the exact same dock right here as well. Now the other cool thing about the dock in iOS 10 on the iPad is the ability to add a ton of applications. So if we go ahead and do that, we can literally just drag this down just like that. And you can see how it resizes once you drag all these applications down in there. So again, this was a tweak. Uh, several different tweaks that did this. One of them called InfiniDoc, which allowed you to put as many applications as you wanted down in there. Also a tweak called Harbor that allowed you to do these things with the dock. And last but not least, we have Files. So Files is basically a file manager for your device. And I would love if it would open up right here. So you can see, you can just tap on Browse, and then you can actually go through a ton of different uh, files that you have here on your iPhone, iCloud Drive, you're recently deleted. If you've made any tags of any of the files and you can search through them right there. This is something that is really nice to have native and it's kind of a step away from how Apple usually does things because they really like to lock things down and make things on as uncustomizable as possible. But I've been using iFiles since I don't even know how long, which is a jailbreak tweak that allows you to do just this. Also customize files, edit them, all kinds of stuff. Now iFile will actually allow you to change you know, system files and everything like that. I don't believe they give you the permissions to do so on a device like this just because a lot of people don't know what they're doing so they don't need to have like root access to all their directories or they would probably end up just screwing up their device. So that should have been around 20 tweaks or so that I showed in this video that Apple has used kind of as a base in order to implement some features on their new iOS 11. So let me know what you guys find in iOS 11. What tweaks did I not mention in this video? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, if you guys wanna stay up to date with all of my videos about jailbreak, Apple, tech in general, then just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, peace.